Hello everybody. It's Thursday night. I'm on my way to babysit from 6 p.m. to 11 and I got off work at 3.30 and my head hit the pillow and I woke up at 5 and I was like, I gotta eat and get dressed and run. And I pressed news until 5.20. So, Here I am on my way. I'm about six minutes early right now, but with LA traffic, I always have to leave the house like 10 minutes early. So I'm on track and I really should have filmed this week, but it's just hard to film on weekdays. Like I don't do anything because all I could really do for Vlogmas is like go shopping and like film Christmassy stuff shopping. And I kind of did enough of that in November. But I do have a few more stores to hit up. I think next week I'm going to really get to that. This week is just kind of a unique week. Like stuff going on with work is different. Oh no, I'm stopped on train tracks. I don't like this. Um, obviously there's not a train coming, but... Okay. Okay, we're moving. But yeah, like, I don't know. All I've been doing is kind of like trying to walk the dog a lot, reading and napping because it's just been a bad sleep week for me. Maybe I'll be able to do something this weekend because I have more time than I thought I was gonna have. So now I actually should think about like, what could I do? Well, I'll let you know. I got a new laptop for work and I like moved the table this way so it's more like a desk and I'm really excited about it because now I'm like, I don't know, I feel more professional. And I got this like phone stand so I can like watch videos and work. And then I'm gonna get like this shelf thing to put all these books. Today, I'm just working and then this evening I'm babysitting but the kids will be asleep the whole time so I'll just be reading, paid to read. And I'm going to finish. I'm reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover which is like the most popular book of the year even though it came out like a long time ago. But like Kylie Jenner posted about it or something and so everyone's been talking about it this year and I've read quite a few Colleen Hoover books now and it is really not my favorite one. <laughs> I am like waiting for something to happen. I guess like my favorite Colleen Hoover books were like Layla and Verity which were more like borderline sci-fi ghost stuff and the ones that are just romance novels. I'm like okay and like I don't know the way this guy is written is just like not my type. I don't want a guy to talk to me like that. I'm a hopeless romantic, but I'm also skeeved out by a lot of romance tropes, and I don't like guys that are like, I need to be with you, I'm so desperate, I need to feel your skin against mine. It's like, oh my god, be a man. Okay, I just got some packages from, these are both listed from the babysitting agency that I work for. And they both say, like, this one says, happy holidays, we appreciate you. This one says, grateful for all you do. It's a book. And it's <laughs> Self-care check-in. A guided journal to build healthy habits and devote time to you. Wow. And does your work inspire you? I mean, what does that mean? My work is making sure other people work. <laughs> does that inspire me? Kind of. This is two years in a row, although... I am speaking too soon, that my side job provided like a much better Christmas gift than my full-time job. I haven't gotten a gift from my full-time job yet, so subject to change. But um, last year they sent us a card that wasn't even signed by anyone. And my side job last year sent um, a coffee cup full of 
chocolate covered pretzels, which was really delicious. And this has now sent me two gifts, this babysitting agency that I work part-time for. Ah, more self-care stuff, it looks like. A very happy birthday. This is not even for Christmas, this is for my birthday. I am not gonna stop babysitting. This company is amazing. What absolute kindness they have shown me. I just finished The Push. It's a book that I started last night. I finished It Ends With Us last night while I was babysitting and then immediately started The Push and like could not put it down. Like, I had an hour while I was babysitting. I read as much as I could. I came home and read more. Woke up this morning and just read it and <laughs> couldn't stop, couldn't put it down. It was so good. It was really, really dark. So like, I don't really recommend it to everyone. Um, but I can't believe like that ending. I'm just so happy that I just finally read a really, really, really good book. Um, yeah, it was really, really dark. It's kind of about like generational trauma, mothers who didn't really want to have kids and possibly evil children. <laughs> That's pretty much all I've done today. I walked the dog, I took a shower, read my book every little break in between everything I've done. I just wish like I had more. You know, it's one of those like, not 100% explained in the end, up for interpretation. And it's like, no, I don't want to interpret it. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> but it was really good. Hey everybody. Sunday afternoon and so far today I've done like nothing. I slept in and I watched just watching Chris's movies. I've been trying to think of like what I could do to make this week of vlogging more interesting but I really I don't know right now I don't think I want to go anywhere. I don't feel like shopping or anything. I was thinking about going to see Spencer the movie Di about Diana. Spencer, the princess, in theaters. DJ thinks it's weird to go to the theater alone. I was saying I'll go to West Side Story alone because I don't think he'll care because he doesn't really like musicals, but he said he doesn't want me to go alone, so we're gonna go to that tomorrow. I don't wanna go see Spencer. <laughs> and I feel like that's the kind of movie I would enjoy just by myself, but I don't know. I might just lay here and watch movies on TV all day, walk the dog later. I've been reading, I started Sophie's Choice up again. I read about half of it a couple years ago and then lost my copy. So I just went to Sparknotes and read each chapter summary until I found where I had left off. And yeah, it was 55% on my Kindle. So um, I think I'll, you know, finish that soon-ish this week, probably. I'm watching White Christmas right now. I just watched the boy named Christmas, and that was okay. It was weird. It was a little too, like, magical, like, out there for me. You know, I don't like magic stuff that's, like, in a whole other world, in the elf realm. And it's also, like, about the origins of Christmas, but it's, like, just completely historically inaccurate, you know? Like, even if you don't believe in Jesus, like, none of that was real. They just tried to start a whole new Christmas story about Santa Claus and how he invented Christmas in this Finnish town. Um, I didn't buy it. I just made this, like, cheesy gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I'm really surprised it fit into this pan because when I first dumped it, I was like, whoops, probably should have had a bigger pan. But now that it's all like heated, it looks good. I just got a bunch of like easy to cook frozen meals and it's been really, really nice this week. I've been like trying new things. So I've never made gnocchi or anything like it. And it looks like it would be really good if I had heated up some broccoli with it, but I didn't know what to expect. So I didn't think to do that beforehand. DJ is still sleeping. He's on a really bizarre schedule that I don't love. He was up all night. Oh, I tried watching um, Miracle on 34th Street, the original version. I've never made it through the 90s one. And I've now never made it through the original one. I fell asleep 
which is what happens every time I try to watch that movie. So I know it's like a Christmas classic, but I, I don't know. Like I woke up and they're in court trying to prove that Santa's real. And I was like, what? I, I've seen that in clips before, but I don't know how they got there. <laughs> I definitely missed that movie, but I'm going to put on like um, Deck the Halls with Danny DeVito to see how I feel about that. I forgot to like fully review It Ends With Us since I just read the push within 24 hours after and I was just gonna say that is the last time that I take a book recommendation from Kylie Jenner. <laughs> I just finished Deck the Halls, Danny DeVito, and I barely paid attention to it. It was really cheesy but I definitely saw it as a kid and I feel Somewhere in my mind, I've been trying to remember what movie that was, where they are literally fighting over, like, their excessive Christmas light displays on their houses. And I finally figured out what it was. And it said it came out in 2006, so yeah, it was, like, you know, turning 10 when it came out. I guess that's it for this vlog, because it's Sunday night. And I, sorry I didn't do anything this week. But next week should be more interesting because I've got plans tomorrow.